Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1675 that says minimize deviation in error. So this question is tagged hard one but uh, I don't think this is uh, that hard. Uh, so I will explain you uh, in a simple way that you won't find this question hard and it's uh, like of a medium level only not that hard. So yeah, now let's uh, see what the question says. So here you will be given one nums item uh, containing only positive integers and you can perform two operations on it. So if it is even number, then you can divide it by two. If it is an odd number, you can multiply it by two, correct? And in the end, you need to find deviation. So what is deviation? Deviation is simply the difference between uh, two elements. That is a maximum difference. So the, what will be the maximum difference? So deviation, in other words, it says it is the difference between the maximum element and the minimum element. So that will be only the maximum difference, right? So yeah, that is the deviation. And we need to reduce this deviation by performing this operation any number of times. Okay, any number of times, correct? So if you look at this first example, you are given one, two, three, four. So as you can see, this one, this is odd. This can be converted to two, right? And this four, this is even, this can be converted to two. So our final array will become two, two, three, two by converting this four, one to two and this four to two, correct? So our deviation would be three minus two, that is one. See, after this, none of the element, uh, means the standard deviation or the deviation will not reduce because this three, this odd number never decreases. It only, it always increases as you can see, multiply it by two and even number never increase because they can only be divided. So yeah, so that's why this is the final answer, the final array and uh, any better answer you won't get. Okay. So if you take a look at this example, now here the 20 is the large element. This 20 can be reduced to 10, then further to five. So as you can see, we reduce it to five and this one can be increased to two Can be increased to two, correct? So yeah, this is the final case. No other operation will work here uh, to get better answer. So our answer would be five minus two, that is three. Now, if you take a look at this example, two, 10, eight. So let me write down here, two, 10, eight. See, in one operation, what we can make two, five and eight. We reduce 10 to five. Then another operation we can do, what we can do? Two, five, four. We reduce eight to four. Now, uh, to get better answer, we can't we can't do anything so our here answer would be 5 minus 2 that is 3 okay so i want to uh, uh, share you some of the observations see uh, well, here it says even number can be what can be divided by 2 that means what it does this says even number always decrease means we cannot increase it even number always decrease or even number can't be increased we cannot increase it an odd number odd number is always multiplied by 2 so odd always increase or you can say odd never decrease got it see odd number never decrease and even number never increase these two things are the key observation based on the condition correct so as you can see in this example also, so once your maximum number, this maximum number five, means the maximum number in the array you get as odd. Once you get the maximum number as odd, it can never be, what? It can never be decreased. And once you get minimum element as even, it can never be increased. It even can't be increased. So this would be our terminating state. See, however large will be your example, let's say two, four, 10, 20, 17, okay and let's say seven this type of example uh, you are given so uh, just forgot this uh, seven uh, 17 and yeah this is your example so what you can see here the uh, minimum element is 2 maximum element is 20 okay so let's say in one operation what you can do you can reduce this uh, uh, so this maximum element from 20 to 10 correct uh, okay now again uh, it is even so even number always decreases we can decrease the even number say so maximum number is even number and we can decrease it initially this was the maximum even even can be decreased this is the maximum it is even even can be decreased okay uh, sorry not 10 it would be 5 now again this is the maximum number maximum number is even it can be decreased so yeah uh, it if we try to decrease it 
then this would be our answer uh, this would be the add after this operation now as you guys can see here that our maximum element is odd and odd never decrease right odd element can only be multiplied by 2 correct so after this it, you can never uh, never decrease maximum element so once you reach at the stage where your maximum element is odd correct then it can never be decreased okay simple as that and uh, what another thing you can do another thing you can do is increase minimum element but as you guys can see here the minimum element is what 2 since the minimum element is 2 then event uh, even number cannot be increased right this is the terminating stage when even uh, when the minimum element is is also even and max, maximum element is odd say minimum element is even and maximum element is odd so this is the terminating stage correct simple as that uh, so yeah i hope you guys understood this observation uh, that uh, the uh, even number cannot be increased and odd number can't be decreased i hope uh, things are clear till now and if you are still confused at why we are only uh, checking for the maximum element and the minimum element because the deviation is what the uh, difference of max and mean max element and mean element so it is simply the deviation deviation is this and in order to reduce the deviation we need to reduce the maximum and increase the minimum so that the difference will be reduced so this is the simple thing that we are trying to do here and based on this two observation we can tell that once you get um, the maximum element as uh, odd see once you get this maximum element odd like 7 it can't be decreased correct everything that things are clear till now okay so based on this intuition we will try, try to find an approach see here in this above example uh, 2 4 10 27 so uh, so here uh, what we can do is in this above example uh, as per our observation we need to keep track of maximum element and minimum element okay because the minimum element has to be multiplied by 2 and maximum element has to be divided by 2 correct this has to be divided by 2 and this has to be multiplied by 2 if possible just to increase this and decrease this correct things are clear till now now what we can do is we can reduce one of the operation okay what one observe what one operation we can reduce we can reduce this operation right multiplying by 2 see how uh, so let's say if you have something like this 1 3 uh, 10 27 i am changing this array uh, and i will let you know further see let's say so this is your current array so f if you increase if you multiply all the odd elements by 2 so then your array becomes 2 6 10 20 14 correct now this is your element now now here what we will do here we will only perform this divided by 2 operation divided by 2 operation only and you might be asking why how you came up to this intuition this result see I, why we multiplied by all the odd elements by 2 only once see like i will let me explain you see if, if there is something odd element like 1 1 1 change to 2 or when 3 change to 6 this become what this become even odd elements by multiplying by 2 are become even and once they become even they cannot increase they can't can't be increased correct so once uh, it become even it can't be increased so that's why at, a, at, a, at the first stage only we uh, make all the elements even so we have to only do one operation like only to divide operation correct this is divided by two operation okay so that's why instead of performing two operations that is maximum but that is multiplying by two then dividing by two we reduced we reduced to what we reduced to only one operation that is dividing by two simple as it is okay now based on this intuition what we can do we can form our approach see whatever would be our numbers item so our step one would be multiply all other odd elements by two step one is this multiply odd by two so what this this will make all the maxim all the numbers as maximum as possible so what does this do make number uh, maximum possible this will be reach so that this doing this we will reach at a state that each number will be as max as possible see because once they are converted all the numbers are converted to even uh, it can never be increased further so that's why this this stage will be reached and in the stage two what we will do we will use 
some uh, data structure like priority queue or max heap. So this max heap or priority queue, P, P queue, this will return what? This will return our topmost element. Topmost element would be max. So top element, what it would be? It would be max. And we will reduce it, correct? As I, as I told you all, earlier that we have only one operation to do, that is dividing by 2. So we will try to reduce this maximum element by 2, uh, by dividing it by 2. Okay, now what will be the terminating condition? So terminating condition of this, when this maximum element becomes odd, correct? Depends the when the maximum element become odd, we will simply break the loop. Why? So once it become odd, it can never be decreased. We cannot perform this divide operation. As you guys can see here, that uh, let this is the let us take this example as well. Say 2, 6, 10, 20, 14. Okay, this is the case. Initially, it was what 1, 3, 10, 20, 7. You multiply it by 2. This is step 1. Okay. Now you will perform step 2 until uh, this pq dot top modulus 2 equals to 0 that means until it is even see let me show you by doing a dry run if it see in one uh, what we are doing we are simply dividing the topmost element as you can see divide the topmost element by 2 reducing the topmost element so after one iteration it would become 2 6 10 10 14 correct after second iteration it will become the initial this was uh, topmost element now this is the topmost element 2 6 10 10 7 Okay, now this is topmost element. So we do 2, 6, 10, 5, 7. This is the topmost element. 2, 6, 5, 5, 7. Okay, now this is the topmost element. This is correct. So now this topmost element is what? It is odd. This topmost element can't be decreased. This can't be decreased. And so in this case, we got, we just stopped by taking the difference of 7 and 2. This is the best possible answer that we can have. So yeah, at this case, we will stop and we will uh, give this as an answer because this minimum element was initially 1. So it is as max as, as max as possible. All the numbers are as maximum as possible because all are even, correct? And we get, we found the maximum odd number. So that's why this at this position, we will stop and we will get our answer. So I hope you guys understood the intuition and the approach. Now let's move on to the coding part here. So here, as I had told that we will keep one priority queue. And these are two maximum and minimum elements uh, to store the maximum and minimum elements. As I told you, for uh, that our step one is what step one is converting all the numbers to as maximum as possible, correct? And to convert to as and and because only odd numbers can be increased, so we increase the odd numbers by multiplying by two, correct? And we simply push the new nums of y to this priority queue. Now, as I told you, that our terminating condition is what. But terminating condition is when this topmost element become odd and until it is even we, we will means we will loop uh, until it is even once it becomes odd then we will stop correct and here we are doing the same thing that reducing the topmost element uh, and taking the difference each time and storing again this top right and taking the difference uh, at the end right so uh, i hope you guys understood the approach and the intuition this code is simple Whatever we have discussed, the same thing we have to write down in the code. There is nothing complex going on here. But building this appro uh, approach and the intuition based on these two examples was important. Okay. So yeah, that's for the coding part. Now let me tell you about the time and space complexity. This, okay. So regarding the time complexity, uh, it would be n log n, n log of n into C. This is what n log n is because we are using this priority queue so it will be n log n into how many times see here of here we are out we are pushing some of the elements correct so uh, it will be log of m time m is the maximum number see now let me tell you that if uh, our maximum number is let's say 64 correct now 64 can be reduced to 32 can be reduced to uh, 16 and 8 okay this maximum number dividing by 2 will go like this then let's say if uh, so how many times this operation is would be performed on maximum number that would be log base 2 of m time this many times this operation will be performed correct on uh, this uh, maximum number by when we are dividing by 2 okay so that's why i multiplied this complete operation into log of m times so i hope you guys understood the time complexity any other space complexity 
would be big O of log of n as we are storing n elements correct in this priority queue. So this would be the space complexity. So I hope you guys understood the approach intuition as well as the time and space complexity. So yeah, that's all for this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.